C Sharp is a popular programming language that is built and supported by Microsoft. It's a good chance that if you're a programmer with C Sharp, you'll be able to find a job, especially with a corporate type of companies. C is the grandfather of most of the languages that we use today. C++ is the father, and Java, C Sharp, Swift, and others would be considered cousins in the family. C Sharp is directly related to the .NET framework, which is Microsoft's solution for most of its products. However, C Sharp is not the only language in .NET. It's just the most popular. .NET is a way to take a language such as C Sharp and compile it into something like assembly language instructions that then are interpreted on native code. So the idea is to make cross-platform applications. So you write one piece of code, compile it, and then interpret it with a CRL, or a common runtime library, on any operating system that is popular today. C Sharp will allow you to create many different types of projects, from Windows apps to mobile to web apps, and many in between. C Sharp is very similar to Java and has even been accused of copying Java for the idea of write once, run anywhere. C Sharp is a strongly typed language, so you'll see things like ints, longs, strings, and doubles whenever you define a variable. However, C Sharp also allows you to do an interesting trick called implicit types. And so in this example, you can see that the i equals 5 means that i will become an integer based on the context. C Sharp is an object-oriented language, so expect to see files that are classes that define objects. Unlike Java, where you have lots of getters and setters, C Sharp allows you just to put the word get and set and all of the rest is implied. If you're a C Sharp developer, you're probably going to have your first experience using Visual Studio. However, you can use other applications such as Visual Studio Code if you want to compile your code. Microsoft made C Sharp open source in 2014, which is a major shift for a company that has been famous for having its proprietary software. Also, Microsoft developed .NET to be cross-platform. You would expect to see constructors in a C-sharp program where you can define a new person, for example. When you create an instance of an object, you can either use those parameters, as you see here in line 13, or you might just have object properties that are specifically named. Either is acceptable. C-sharp has a feature called link, which allows you to parse through a list of things and run expressions to sort them. In this case, we're trying to find everyone who is less than 30 years old and whose weight is less than 100 pounds. If you're in Java, you would expect to call this streams. If you're a JavaScript programmer, you're going to think of map and filter. C Sharp also allows you to use Lambda expressions so that you can do functional programming in addition to object-oriented programming. If your application needs it, you can put in async and await features, which allows you to execute statements out of order, so you don't have to wait around for a slow process. C Sharp is also targeting directly at a domain typically dominated by JavaScript. So Blazor is a solution that allows you to run code on a web browser, but not JavaScript. So if this is actually successful, you'll have less need for JavaScript if you are a C-sharp only developer. If you'd like to learn how to build applications from your first to your expert level, then check out my website at studycoding.org where you can learn how to do these things in depth. Thanks for watching.